In today's video, I am going on a walking tour of this iconic building on Durban's beachfront. I've been wanting to know what it looks like on the inside for years. We'll also find out why it's been closed for almost 30 years. It is a Friday afternoon, unfortunately Craig is working, but we'll have two familiar faces on the channel helping me out today. <laughs> Hi Dad! <laughs> Cameraman! And my mom's gonna make sure that I have all my facts right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my dad will be behind the camera and we'll be in front of the camera. Wonderful. So the tour starts at 12 o'clock. Let's go. Construction started in 1928 and in 1931 it opened as the Addington Children's Hospital, the first children's hospital in Africa. In 1984, the hospital was closed by the apartheid government as children of all races were treated in this facility. For the following 28 years, the hospital's seven buildings fell in deep disrepair, ceilings collapsed, Windows shattered, pigeons moved in, and some people seeked shelter. 2009, it was decided that the hospital would get renovated. It was also renamed the KwaZulu-Natal Children's Hospital. In 2013, the outpatient department became operational. Over 300 million rand is still needed to re-establish this hospital. We're in the psychology centre now and they have six consulting rooms and this section of the hospital is due to open very soon. Alright, so now we're going into the unrenovated section and this section that we've just been to used to look like this. So wait till you see this. So this room used to be the nurses station, so the nurses would sit here and observe all the patients over there. Courtyard now, and they have actually been restoring all of these ceramics. Like this one behind me, didn't have any arms. Adolescent Health and Alton John donated 50 million rand for the renovation of this section. We 
we just got a tour of the quiet room. You have to see the view when you look up. So the idea is for them to put bean bags in here and books and children can come in here and just be quiet and read. So many dreams for this hospital. This is the outside section of the adolescent center. So eventually this will all be green and it's just a peaceful environment for the adolescents to come and sit if they want some outside time. These pillars behind me are the foundation of a six-story building that's going to look all the way through to the ocean. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful. And they're going to have a rehab pool in there, which will also have ocean views. Here behind is the old nurse's home. Funding is so important for this place. Just to give you an idea, to plant grass in just this area is over a hundred thousand rand. Just look at this contrast. Renovated, not renovated. Let's go inside. So the idea for this section is to become a mother's lodge where it's a home away from home. There are a lot of rooms that they're going to set up and even braai areas. There's a kitchen, a dining area and TV rooms. We're at the front of the building now and this is what you see when you drive past on the beachfront side. It's just so iconic and a building that I've always seen growing up in Durban. And it's so nice to see that they're finally renovating this. So the dilapidated part that we saw earlier is in there. We have come to the end of the tour. I know this is a very unusual video for our channel, but what did you think? This has been so informative. I never knew that this place was being renovated, but they still need a lot of money to complete this whole thing. If you can help, you can help by donating 100 rand for a brick. That would be a lovely project. Yes, you can just go onto their website, which I'll link below, and you can buy a brick for 100 rand, but buy more than one brick. <laughs> They need a lot of funding to get this hospital back up and running and for all the new projects. It's been so amazing. If you want to book your own tour, go onto their Facebook page and come and see this for yourself. A lot of my facts might not be 100% correct. <laughs> so come and see for yourself, find out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching this unusual video, but I mean, this is so iconic on the Durban beachfront. So I just had to come and show you guys what it looked like. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you for coming. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> Bye. No, but it's okay. I don't know which year. <laughs>